welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. Let me tell you a situation. You, and we're going to play today. Is it illegal? <laughs> All right. We're not going to play guess what race it is, too? No. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think we can guess. Oh, I love it. All right. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'll be so, guessing two, okay. two games. So you, you play the lottery, right? So I have you have to. Oh well, yeah, no. I'm, this is this is part of the example. So say you play the lottery. Okay, fair. I'm playing the lottery, and you you have a, a winning lottery ticket. Oh shit! And it's like I don't know, like say like twenty five thousand dollars. I'm moving to Hong Kong, and I somehow find out that you won. Okay. And then I come to you and I say, "Listen, listen. I'll give you twenty k cash. Yeah. Yes. You and mean. then I will claim the ticket. Okay. I pay the taxes. I do the whatever." It, I'll claim it in my name. Okay. You don't have to go through any of the ish. You don't have to come out in the public. Okay. And we'll just call it even. And then I'll cash in the ticket. Okay. Sounds good. Is that illegal? No. Why do you think that? Why do I? Why because, would you think it is or isn't? Because the ticket doesn't technically have an owner. The thing is, is that if like somebody were to steal that ticket, they could just as easily cash it in, right? I'm pretty sure. Like if they dropped it in the ground and like yeah. you picked it up in the street. Yeah, I can't claim that ticket at that point. So the ticket, in my mind, a ticket doesn't technically have an owner. So whoever cashes the ticket in, cashes. Well, the ticket it would be in. like a stock. Like you buy a stock, and then it's it's worth whatever somebody wants to pay you for it. So like somebody knows it's worth twenty five thousand. If you want to take a discount, except technically you own the stock. So if somebody was to like. Uh, you still have to go through the proper channels to get the stock to move oh, from that's person true, to guess. person. With a with something like that, it's almost like uh, I don't know. It's it, the ticket has an owner, but it does not because in the eyes well, right. Because if I was on my way to cash the ticket in and it fell out of my pocket, yes, any asshole could pick it up, yes, and it's their ticket now. And then if you were to dispute, like, hey, this asshole <laughs> turned in my ticket, people how would you be like, have any way? How would you have any way to prove it? Exactly, unless you wrote it on the back, <laughs> Jonas's ticket. Oh, I don't know. So maybe the ticket does have an owner. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think like when it's a winner, you can fill out the back because usually the big money, I think you have to mail into the lottery commission yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. All so, right, fair enough. No, it is illegal as shit because these guys were doing that and they got caught for like, they did it for like hundreds of thousands of dollars and like they got, they got arrested. But what, what so what was the crime? Uh, <laughs> a ten, it was called, it was called a 10 percenting scheme. It says, which a cash winning Massachusetts state lottery tickets on behalf of the holders to avoid taxes and receive tax refunds. So I think they did it. It was tax fraud because what they were doing on top of it is claiming gambling losses to offset the lottery winnings. Uh, so they're like, yeah, we won 100K. I got a gambling habit. I lost 100K gambling. So I think that's where the where like the okay, illegality okay. came from. Okay. But okay. I don't know. It sounds, I mean, like. I think it's the tax implication, but the other person got 20 K and never didn't have to pay any taxes on it. So there's, I would be skeptical if I was the person I'm skeptical, 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 skeptical of if I was the person who won the lottery and somebody came up to me and said, Hey, look, I'll give you 20 K cash. I'd be like, the hell? I, don't I know. mean, because most people can't just give you 20K cash. You're like, where'd you get that from? You rob someone? You sell yeah, drugs? It's, like, it you sounds like a money? laundering scheme more than anything. Yeah. I thought it was going to go into that. but Yeah, it's like buying art. <laughs> I mean, money laundering. What are you no, talking about? No, that that solid red painting with a dot on it's worth three hundred and seventy million dollars. You know it is. Um, <clears throat> you paid for it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I saw I saw they got arrested and like you know or whatever. And I, I'm sure it's the tax because the people because those people got 20, say twenty k tax free. Yeah, and they got a discount money taxes and offset the game. There, there has to be tax. Re- they don't mess around when you, when you don't do taxes. I, well, yeah, that's for sure. It's like whether you, whether you're doing whatever, claiming them, not claiming them, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Large dude. sums of money, you got you got to do it. You got to do it. Yeah, like if this if they were doing it if with like forty dollar lottery tickets, they ain't going to jail for that. No, but if they well, once they rack up six k or six six uh, six figures worth of winnings, that's when it becomes you're, a they're, Yeah, if you're trying to like, and here's the thing, I don't get. I have never. I've just been like. I'm not going to try to find some schemey ass way to not pay my taxes. Just pay the money that you owe, dude. Then you then you don't get in trouble. You don't go to jail. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, yeah, 125K, you take 
20 percent. yeah that it. sucks but guess what i'm still up 20k yeah it's free like, money it's right free money. like that's fine like i'll pay the 5k in taxes i don't like i just don't get it God man people Jones, are so I'm gonna, greedy i'm gonna play the lottery tonight <laughs> <laughs> i honestly honestly Jones, man it's been it's been eating away at me that you how, haven't won how, the lottery no how how do people m launder money through art is it just like you pay that much for it, so now it's worth that much? Well, no, it's it's because they, uh, how it is, is like, it's the same as like if you're laundering money any other way. So, the Illuminati. No, like, <laughs> you have, you have quote unquote dirty money. I mean, yes, I get that. So, you buy art at some absorbent price. How is art even placed at that price? That's, that's the scam. It, they, that's it, what I'm it, trying you, to get It's at. an infinite laundering glitch. Like, you can, because you can say, I have all this dirty money from whatever. I have this cash that I need to get rid of, right? So you pay someone some exorbitant amount of money for art. Now, you have this piece of art. He's worth, using quotation fingers when he says Yeah, you art. have this piece of art worth $370 million. Then you can turn around and resell that and get legit cash. But when you make a purchase of a certain amount of money, it's always reported to the IRS, at least in America, I know it is. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how that exactly works, but I know that, like, art, it's you, because, because, because art is worth what anyone will pay for it, right? Like, I could draw That's a stick so figure on a thing, and someone could be like, I'll give you $300 million for that. And I'm like, okay. And I don't care where they got the money, because I get $300 million. Yeah. And yeah. then they... I, and I know it has something to do with the depreciation. Like, art doesn't depreciate in value. Yeah, but at the same time, like, if someone else is only, like, you pay me $300 million for it, and I'm like, and then and then you're like, great, I have this $300 million piece of art. Hey, buddy, you want to buy this? And they're like, I'll give you $0.08 cents for it. And then that's all you got. That's the only offer you get. It's not worth $0.08. Cents. <laughs> it's not worth $300 million. And then you claim the loss. Then you claim the loss on your taxes to offset other gains. Like I think that's how they run it. Oh, it's, so you mean NFTs? Uh, I mean you could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean you mean physical NFTs? Oh, I got you. Yeah, because it's essentially physical <laughs> NFTs. Like, oh, I made two hundred million dollars in crypto and I lost a, mil Ooh, a million on uh, digital man, NFT or whatever. So that happened. Yeah, dude. I, <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's how people uh, get away with it. I think that's I think that's what it is. I I do I do I do like uh <laughs> the idea of people sitting in a room, a bunch of like the stuffy dudes in suits, uh, sitting in a room, bidding millions of dollars on a teacup from the Ming Dynasty, bro. And it's like Does a anybody piece. like like I for example like it's so funny that like China, not the country like China where. Oh, okay. Like, fine, they, China. fine China used to be so precious, and people would like whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so when my when my uh, my grandparents had a condo in Texas, in the down down south, and when they bought it like sight on scene, so like the lady who sold it to him, all the stuff that was in it, they bought. It was had furniture and a bed and all because they didn't have it was all furnished. Yeah. So when they when my grandpa got too ill to be able to go down anymore, I we live we live about four hours away. So she was like, "Can you go and help me clear it out and like any of our stuff?" And we sold it, yada yada. So I go and there was this like, there was a it was a fifty six piece china set. Okay. Like it had all the plates and cups and saucers and butter dishes and gravy boats sure. and serving trays. Dude, I listed that ish on Craigslist a hundred times and not one person bit for no. any amount of money on that. No, no one cared. Nobody wanted And I was that. like, oh, because like I was like, oh, maybe I could sell it and get a couple hundred bucks or something, right? Was it 50, unopened or was it? It used? was brand. It, I mean, I mean, how often do people use China? Not very often. So like I was just like. I took Seems a bunch quite... of pictures of all of it. Not one person inquired about it, no. like, at all. And I ended up taking it to, like, the Goodwill or something. Because I was yeah. like, here you go. You guys can make 50 bucks off it or whatever. Yeah, nobody wants your used plates. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> it's like the, the, the farther, like, physical possessions other than, like, jewelry and stuff like that yeah. have just become less and less and less valuable. Like, no one gives a shit about that kind of stuff I agree. anymore. I agree. Um, It's 100% like... Like I, I picture like the humanity as it's come up through, through the ages. It's like um, you would picture like a merchant sitting on their hands and knees with a blanket out with like valuables on it, pottery and stuff. And people valued that stuff back then. And as we've come up and we've gotten more digital, like definitely we are not going out and just like buying plates or jewelry and even like. 
Yeah. I don't know. Well, feel, the mindset used to be stuff, stuff even with like anything. It'd be like, oh, I remember when I was a kid, my grandpa's sister or whatever was like, hold on to these matchbox cars. They're going to be worth a lot of money. Uh, and then I held on. My mom saved all of these toys forever. All my old toys and all this stuff. And, a lot of, and like, I took them to a toy store and they were like, we'll give you like 200 bucks for all of them. And like, that was, and I was like, we saved this my whole life to get me $200. Like, I would have rather just thrown the ish in the trash. They lie to you, by the way. Oh no, for sure. And I, and I just didn't care. But, but, he, but the point I guess <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a lot you. of the stuff that I took there was beat up because I played with it. Like it was like broken GI Joes. And like the dude actually, he was like, he was like, I'm going to show you something. And I was like, okay. And he brought out, he brought out a bag, like a gallon Ziploc bag full of pieces, parts of the same GI Joe that I, like one of the GI Joes that oh. he goes, we have one of these for almost every GI Joe in existence. So we take them and we build, we take them apart and rebuild the best GI Joe we can to resell. He goes, uh. we have 400 of that GI Joe. We don't need it. Like he goes, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. we're not paying anything for it. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that sucks, you know? Cause like all mine had like the hands were broken and the head was beat up. So they were like, might be like, oh my God, this one has a front chest plate we need for Zartan. And yeah, like, yeah. that's the thing. It's about condition. If you were kept them in the packages. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, they were all made, used and stuff, made but condition and stuff. yeah, nobody gave a ish. So I don't know, man. Uh, anyways, I forgot to set the timer. So that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to the time.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep. Oh, cool. Good deal. It, fe it felt about right. So, I mean, we've been doing it long enough. It feels about right. Although sometimes we go for